Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I hope all of you would be fine. So this video will be about um, calculating the formation energy of any diatomic molecule. So um, I was approached by a friend who asked me uh, how to calculate the uh, energy of uh, a simple bond like H2 bond or Cl2 bond or any similar diatomic molecule so uh, it, it was being confused with the uh, total electronic energy like if you optimize a molecule and then you go to results and summary and then you see that energy uh, in heart disease, if you convert it to kilocalories or kilojoule per mole its value is it's far very far from the literature value so first thing uh, make it clear that the total electronic energy is in no way the formation energy it is the total energy of the system you are studying so if you want to calculate the formation energy like uh, here is an h2 molecule and if you want to see uh, the bond dissociation energy of this uh, molecule or the formation energy uh, which are the opposite of each other you can do it uh, simply uh, first you need to optimize the molecule this uh, molecule like this atom a and atom b they are bonded together and then you will need to calculate the energy of atom a and atom b separately and we can use the formula to uh, to calculate the energy of the bond so first what we'll do is just uh, calculate optimize this molecule and uh, I'll just keep the settings as they are by default I'll not change anything at the moment and we'll see that uh, how this screwed level of theory uh, comes up with the formation energy so uh, I'll just say it H2 and save and run it so this is completed now I'll also calculate the energy of NH atom for that we need to go to H and then select H atom here it is just one atom you can see that one atom one electron neutral and the spin state is doublet because the electron is unpaired and I'm going to calculate now you can definitely not optimize one atom rather you will calculate the energy only with the same methods and everything and I'll say it as H and close it yes yeah here it is calculated now we have calculated both of these things so what we need to do is uh, here is the energy of H2 if I see the optimized H2 molecule and in the summary you can see this is the total electronic energy in heart trees so I'll just copy this energy first I have created an, an Excel sheet uh, where I'll tell you what's happening so first I'll put the energy of H2 here which we just calculated so this is in hard race. here I have added a column for theory what level of theory have you used and then uh, this is the energy of the H2 molecule now in our case uh, th this is the formula actually if you want to for, uh, create, calculate the energy of formation you need to use the energy of hydrogen uh, two atoms bonded together minus the sum of individual energies of those atoms so if the atoms are different you can uh, use these two energies separately but here they are same so I'll just double it up here uh, so I have added uh, here is the formula if you can see that uh, uh, this B3 this column minus this column plus this column so I have used the same formula here and then I have converted the energy to kilojoule per mole by multiplying it 
multiplying it to 2625.5 because one heart rate is equal to this much kilojoules per mole. So now I'll add the energy of uh, H atom as I calculated. So if you go, here it is. And I copy it here. Now you can see uh, that the energy of formation comes out to be minus 342.79 kilojoule per mole. But if you look at the literature, the value is minus 432 kilojoule per mole. So uh, the hydri fog theory has, uh, has underestimated the energy and uh, it's not representing it well. For that reason, I have also, I have already um, optimized it uh, on two different other levels of theories, like uh, here are the files. Uh, if I optimize it using uh, the density functional theory and a better basis set, uh, that is the augmented CCPVTZ, which is far better than 3 to 1G, the energy comes out to be minus 460 kilojoule per mole, which is uh, very close to the uh, experimental value. But still, it's uh, now it's a bit overestimating the density functional theory. So then I tried it with the molar placer theory. And uh, you can see that if I use the MP2 with the same basis set, the value comes out to be minus 434.21, which is... Uh, very close to the uh, experimental value. So it really depends what uh, do you want to calculate and for that calculation what method is the best. So you have to choose the best method or you have to benchmark or you, you can uh, study the literature. There are a lot of benchmarks on different molecular systems and then you can choose the right uh, method first for your calculation which gives you the correct results because there are a lot of approximations uh, used in uh, computations that is why there can be uh, errors sometimes bigger sometimes smaller in your calculations so that is how you can calculate the uh, energy of the bond in a diatomic molecule so if if you want to calculate for example hcl uh, you can still use the same uh, method like for example if I make H2 and then I replace it with a Cl so here is HCl now what I will do is I'll calculate the energy of HCl and then I'll calculate the energy of a single H atom and separately for a single chlorine atom and then I'll use the same formula as discussed here uh, to calculate the energy of formation of um, HCl and you can do for any other uh, diatomic molecule. So that was all about uh, calculating the energy of formation of diatomic molecules. If you do not understand anything or you have any question you can post in the comments and uh, I'll try my best to reply as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.